by uh, Stephen Kinnock. Now, you are in the fortunate position you've got a, quite a safe seat uh, in South Wales, but what about a lot of your colleagues? A lot of them could uh, lose their seats. Well, I got elected two years ago, and there are some absolutely fantastic colleagues, and, and what they all do is stand up for their constituents. They are a strong voice for their constituents in Westminster and a strong and strong local campaigners. And we're going to fight for every single vote. And I think we're going to very much fight on that platform of standing up for our communities, standing up for our constituents. If you look at what's been happening in my constituency of Aberavon with the steel crisis, I think we've managed a, a combination of trade unions and Labour MPs have really fought a rearguard action on steel and have actually managed to turn things around. So I think we've shown what we can do, even in opposition, to be a strong local voice and strong campaigners. And that's how we're going to fight this election. But in recent by-elections, lots of Labour MPs knocking on doors have said that Jeremy Corbyn is not a vote winner for the party. And he will be uh, the figurehead who will be on the TV and news bulletins and newspapers for the next six weeks. Is he going to be a vote winner for the Labour Party? Well, Theresa May stood on the uh, steps of Downing Street today and said she wanted a united Westminster. And I found those words to be quite chilling, actually, because that seems to suggest that she wants to turn our country into some kind of elective dictatorship where there's no opposition in Westminster, where the government isn't held to account, where they steamroll a Brexit through. She's being run by a cabal of Brextremists around her who want to turn this country into a European version of the Cayman Islands, using Brexit as a vehicle for doing that. So I think if people want a strong opposition, they want an opposition that's holding Theresa May to account, then they need to vote Labour on the 8th of June. But I've spoken to some Labour MPs in the last few weeks who said they would vote for a general election, knowing they think that Labour will do badly, but hoping it will get rid of Jeremy Corbyn as leader. Well, I think one of the things we've learned from the last two years in British politics and indeed in global politics is uh, making forecasts is a mugs game. Uh, we've now got to get onto an election footing, get those leaflets printed, get those door knocking schedules sorted out and show what the Labour Party can do as a local campaigning force to really make a difference in our constituencies and here in Westminster. And I think what Theresa May has done today is talked a good game about uniting the country, but actually at a time when we more than anything need stability, continuity and certainty for the British economy, she's thrown a hand grenade into all of that. And I think people will take a look at that and say, well, do we really want a prime minister who is putting party interests ahead of the national interest or do we want a strong opposition campaigning for us here in Westminster, holding the government to account and making sure that we don't have a Brexit which turns our country into a tax dodger's paradise, into a deregulator's haven? Just in a word, do your constituents think Jeremy Corbyn can be the next Prime Minister? Well, look, we will find that out on the 8th of June. I'm going to fight a campaign in Aberavon based on my record as a local MP shouting here for the interests of my people. Okay. Stephen Kinnock, thank you very much indeed. And I think that